Hi everyone, I am trying to help you get started using EarSketch. It's a program for learning to code using music, and this video making stuff is not so easy. This is about the fifth time that I've started recording, so here is my latest try. This is where I get started. This is a celebrity song remix contest. Beginning at Amazon Future Engineer. This is a pretty easy challenge. You can see the challenge video right here. It'll take you to YouTube where you can watch a little introduction to registering and getting to EarSketch. If you follow along with that, you'll end up here at EarSketch. So what you see is curriculum on the right, right? You can search for things to reference. Some panels on the left that you can get familiar with. Timeline in the middle and code editor right here. So your code will start where it says in it. Begin with the tempo. I'm going to make this lower because I'm going to speed up the video when I'm done so it's not so long. And we've gone through really four things over the first three weeks. A fit media for putting in music. It takes four parameters. What file you're using, what track it should be, where it should start, and where it should end. This one, it's this common beat. This is on track number one. It has to start at measure number one and end at measure number 17. You can do that with many pieces. This one starts at number measure number five and ends at 13. You hear. Grateful, grateful. Now, for me, the track number two is overpowering. So this is where effects come in. And what you'll see is that the effect to what track you want it to be on, what effect you're using, what effect parameter you're using, and the value of the effect. I found all that over here in the curriculum at every effect explained in detail. And I'll just add both of these together. Chorus is another effect. Change the way it sounds. Now, the next set effect is has the same name, but it has some extra values. This one is an envelope that will change over time. This effect uh, starts at number measure number nine, goes to measure number 11. Run it, you'll see what that does to the chorus line. So it goes up here from a value of eight, down here to a value of nine. Play again. And as it passes from here to here, the chorus effect will go away. Now for week three, what they've added to challenge is make beat. Make beat lets you kind of use something like this where you go on and off, you can turn it the track on and off these little bits. But this, what you see is zero is on, dash is off, uh, plus will extend up play. So when I run this, you'll see. Oh, okay, so there was an error because back here, uh, string is kind of letters and numbers, and I have this commented out. If you start a line with like this, it's a comment, it's kind of like leaving notes. So now I have drum beat here, and I use it right here. Like, so I didn't type this again, I typed Drum beat equals this. I'm going to use it right here. So make beat works in multiples of 16. This one is 16. And so we see it in the first measure. You can see this 0 plus 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 is the longest piece, and you can see that it is longer right here. So I'm going to play that once. And just skipping ahead, fill in the rest with the slope here. I'm not going to explain this part right now. I'll just see what it does. It's a way to repeat something. So. Uh, that is my summary of weeks one to three for the Celebrity Song Remix Challenge. Riot!